Get everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an On The Back Wheel video. I am very excited to do this video because I have my new suspension here for the KLR 650. I'm gonna unbox it. As you can see, I think I'm taking it out of the wrapping, so I have no idea what it looks like. It's been sitting here for a week and I've been camping, I haven't been able to open it, so I am pumped to unwrap it, so let's get into it. Hey, before we unbox it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber helps grow the channel. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I put a post up uh, on my Facebook community page just with a picture of the box asking people what they think it is and people are pretty good, I'll tell you that. It is suspension. So what I've got here is suspension from YSS. It's not cogent, I know lots of people thought it'd be cogent. What we've got here is, I'm just gonna try and rip it open. I might actually get my knife. Got my little tiny Swiss Army knife here. We have a rear shock and a complete front fork upgrade. What that entails, well, I'll look at it in a sec. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be valves, PD valves, uh, adjustable preload for the front, so uh, the fork caps give you preload spaces, springs, and some other stuff. I'll put it up and have a look soon and overlay it and we'll pick it all apart. Man, this is properly wrapped, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Knife time. So this is probably gonna be one of the last major upgrades for the KLR because pretty well done everything else. Uh, I was always gonna do the suspension, let's be honest. I uh, haven't really said it in the past, but yeah, I was always going to do it because for the kind of riding I do, um, it's too soft and the performance just isn't there. All right. Oh. Okay, the first one. High performance fork upgrade kit. YSS suspension. Very, very cool. We'll have a look at this other one. What have we got here? The shock. Oh yeah. Top line gas shock absorber. Cool. Okay, we'll start with the upgrade kit. As you can see here, what does it come with? I don't know. <laughs> That's just a picture, we'll see. Let's try and figure out how we open this. Uh, open, open, open. Okay, hopefully the camera's getting that, but we have fork fluid, 10 weight, okay. Uh, so we'll leave that there. Got some spaces of sorts here. These will be the valves, the PD valves. Let's try and get it all out. Nicely packed, I like how this is done. So let's just take one of these out. Good on here. So we have kind of washer or spacer and then the PD valves here. That's pretty cool. I dig that, that looks nice. The quality looks fantastic. So we'll put that one back in so I don't lose it all. What's this? No idea what that is. I'll have to read the instructions. <laughs> Man, getting these out, we have the four caps. Oh, these look pretty cool. Uh, they are adjustable. So this is fantastic. I think it's just a preload, but you can see in the end here, it's just like an Allen key. And it's got plus or minus. So that's gonna be really cool to try out. And I like the red. The red does look good. Quality looks really good. I'm guessing they're both exactly the same. Yeah, they're both exactly the same. That's cool. I'm very keen to put these in, very keen. All right, let's see what else we got in here. We have these springs, two springs. Oh, that's how it comes, just like that. That's pretty cool, I like that. So I believe these are linear springs, not progressive. That doesn't worry me at all. That's cool, as long as it's set up right. You know, it's gonna be a massive improvement over stock. Uh, I believe these are for about 95 kilos for a rider. They're great for about that um, weight. Let's see what else we've got in here. Installation manual for a fork upgrade kit. This might tell us a bit more info. Oh, that's in tie or something, so that's not gonna help me. Um, what have we got? Okay, we got a YSS fork preload adjuster. So that will be these ones here. And then we got a fork spring spacer tube, uh, number two. So that would be 
these here. Fork spring spacer tube. Number three, steel plate support spring. Oh, that will be. I'm guessing that maybe. I'll have to have a look. Uh, and then next is your springs, and then the YSS PD fork valve. Cool. Uh, tools required will be a tape measure and fork fluid. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So I don't know. That won't be enough fork fluid, surely. I've got like how much have I got here? Two hundred fifty mil. We'll have to see. I'll read all the instructions when I do the install. So the plan is um, I'll do an install vid for the front and then an install vid for the shock. And then I'll do a um, like initial review, first ride review on the suspension where I'll just go out for a ride my normal loop and see how it performs and adjust it as well. And then in long term, I'll do an overall review too. So that is the plan. Oh, this is all the install instructions. So it actually looks pretty simple. I have never done it before. So this will be interesting. <laughs> it's pretty cool here. You can, you know, it's got more, the front doesn't have any adjustability. So this is great just to have some adjustability. And for the price, I believe they are 450 bucks for the whole upgrade kit. That's very reasonable for springs and what you're getting, the valves and the um, adjustable preload. That That is very good for the price and if you're spending any more than that on a KLR, it's probably not worth it, to be honest, but I'll see how it performs. I may be like, oh, this isn't good. I may think it's fantastic. I just don't know. All right, so I put all this back and then we'll get to the shock. On my Gen 1 KLR650, I own one in America. I had a cogent uh, Moab rear shock and all this was done to the front uh, and it was fantastic. So this is gonna be a really good uh, comparison when I install all this, because uh, I can remember pretty well how I performed. So this is gonna be great to compare it. I'm really excited to do this. Oh, we also got some stickers. Will I put them on? Not sure, not sure yet. We'll see how we go. I'm usually not one for stickers, but um, they've been really good to me so far, so maybe I will chuck them on. All right, let's just put this all in here and then get into the shop. Nice packaging, very happy with how it's all come. It's a nice looking bit of kit, to be honest. All right, nice weight to this, that's for sure. Uh, YSS, world-class suspension, top line gas, shock absorber. High quality products under authorization of KBA Germany. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna be honest, just straight up with you. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna read any of this. Let's be honest, I'm not gonna read any of this. I'll bring it up on the site. What I've got is the MZ456 Monoshock. They have two. Um, this is the higher end model. This one is $650. Okay, what have we got here? We've got some insulation instructions, an Allen key and some metal thing. I've no doubt find out what that's for. Uh, okay and like a serial number. I'll bring it up to the screen. There's a product code, date of purchase, who supplied it, and everything like that. I'll just open that up. A quick look, because I'm curious. I've never installed a shock, so this is gonna be a learning experience for everyone. I do like that. That's a nice quality stickers, those ones. They may very well go on the bike. Just chuck all that back in. Okay, two year warranty, scan for registration. So this is like a warranty thing. So packaging wise, man, it is rock solid. Rock solid, Ugh. Here it is. Oh man, this is nice. This is really nice. <laughs> I'm way more impressed with this than the uh, fork kit, it just, Look at the quality on this, it looks fantastic. Oh, the machine work looks great. Damn, I'm happy with this, very happy. I like how the red looks, it looks fantastic. Uh, they got a sticker in here, the YSS sticker, that looks great too. The steel looks great, there's some weight to it, definitely some weight to it. It'd be interesting to compare the weight to the stock spring when I take it out. Um, I'll compare them both, weigh this one and weigh the other one. 
All right, let's go over it. So what we've got on here, just a brief overview is 45 millimeter radial piston, 16 millimeter hard chrome shaft. That sounds sexual, doesn't it? Um, so what I'll have to do when I install this is set the sag and everything as well by the looks of it. So I'll have to do that. Uh, we have some adjustment. We've got clickers on the bottom. It has soft and where's the hard and hard. So we're turning that way to go soft. Let's just go all the way in. I like the, how this work feels nice. And see how many clickers we've got. We got one, go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 38 clicks? When am I ever, ever going to use 38 clicks? Oh goodness, let's put it roughly in the middle and then we'll set up when we're riding the bike. But yeah, this is a shock. It looks absolutely fantastic. I am digging this, guys. So it'll sit like that, I imagine, with that at the back. Yeah, it should sit like that in the bike and um, I'm super keen to install this and see how it performs. Oh baby, the quality looks fantastic. Stopper there is good. It's chunky, it's a chunky boy, a thick boy. Here's a little close up for everyone. Like look at the machine quality on this. It looks absolutely fantastic. I mean for, what is it, 650 bucks? The quality looks great. Hopefully it performs as well as it looks. Uh, from what they are saying, they expect performance to be very comparable to Cogent. So I am extremely keen to see if that's true. Because uh, the Cogent performed great, the one I had. 38 clicks? Like, that's a lot. Yeah, I think the stock one has something like four turns, I think, from memory. So this has got a lot more adjustability. Hopefully the performance is there as well. The rear shock actually isn't too bad on a stock bike I found. I found the um, front forks to be worse than the shock. Um, the front forks really dive for me at times. And just when you're doing harder off-road riding, that's bottom out, you just can't take big hits. It's not designed for that. It's very much a middle ground for slower riding, for cruisy adventure riding. For gravel roads and stuff, not your harder off-road riding or faster off-road. So this kit here should be absolutely fantastic. I'm keen to see how it performs. And also keen to see how much adjustment it has with these um, preload, I don't know what you call them, preload caps, I will call them. So it looks like what it'll do is, from looking at this with the spaces and everything, Let's see how quickly it'll sit there from what I can see. Um, then the spring goes below that. And as you push it in or push it out, it'll just compress the force a little bit more. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna wrap it up. If you have any questions about the YSS suspension, put them down in the comments below or send me a message on um, social media or an email and I'll get back to you. The quality looks fantastic i'm super keen to see how much of an upgrade it is i'm thinking it's going to be a really big upgrade um the stock suspension is fine it's completely fine but this oh baby i'm excited not too excited to install it um <laughs> i'm Look, I try my best, but I'm not exactly a mechanic. I get it done, all right? I get it done. <laughs> so it's gonna be really interesting. We'll be fine, I'll get it done. You know, no doubt you'll be able to point out and you pick the errors I'm doing. I mean, like, you should have done this, you should have done that, but we'll get it done, all right? We'll get it done. <laughs> I'll put the link to the YSS suspension in the uh, description below. Any questions, just ask me. And uh, really keen to install this and see how it performs. All right, make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep it on the back wheel. All right, catch us, guys.